come to Northwest Arkansas to check out Wellington. Now this area is home to multiple Fortune 10 companies. Pretty good for an area that's got a population of about a half a million people. Now on the other side of the pandemic, Wellington has come out stronger than ever as the go-to place in town for dinner, drinks, socializing, and of course, cigars. Let's check it out. Well, like every great business, you gotta have a great headquarters. And we're at headquarters here at Wellington's, The Bar. And I found one yeah. of the partners, one of the bosses here. It's Dylan King. How are you, my friend? I'm good, how are you? Good, what a magnificent place you got Thank here, you. my friend. So let's get a little background first of all. How, sure. how big is this place? Well, it's 2,400 on the base, but after we added the loft and the mezzanine, we're about 3,500 square feet. And how many people can you get in here? About 260. Wow, this yep. is fantastic. Now, every, I can always appreciate a good bar. And I know you can always appreciate Absolutely. a good bar. So tell me about this place. I mean, look at look at the, look at the top shelf stuff. What do you, it's beer, wine, liquor, everything? Beer, wine, I mean, we have a pretty vast spirit list, but obviously you've seen outside when you came in, it's very much about whiskey, fine plates and cigars. And so we have about 120 whiskeys on our shelf. Um, everything from, you know, your lower end all the way up to your top end of Louis the 13th, Mac 25. I mean, we have all the, all the big names. Um, but we do have a good spirit list on the tequila side too. Our bar manager, Vanessa, she likes tequila. And so we experiment a lot with old fashions on tequilas and we get into oh, a lot of gin. Minute. So we have a good uh, spirit list. Uh, we're no short there. But we do have a lot of craft beer as well. And then on our wine selection, um, we had a sommelier come in. And so he actually crafted our wine program around our demographic and our guests and what they like. So. So you get a little bit of everything, whether you're, everything, you're a yeah. beer person, a spirit person, a wine person. It's all here, and it's all here at this bar. Absolutely. You know, obviously it's a little restaurant. We're going to get into all that later. So I heard you guys make a. You mentioned it. Here you guys make a mean old fashioned. Yeah, our old fashioned is probably one of our you know customer favorites. Uh, we do it a little differently as we actually smoke our old fashions. Oh, now we're talking. And so yeah, so it's fun when you get a, a whole crowd in here and they're all dining and we start really rolling out the old fashions because that aroma of the you know of that infusions kind of takes over the dining room a little bit, yeah. um, but it smells so good and it tastes better. I love it, I love it. Well, we're gonna get into this, but first, you you, you were talking to you a little bit, you're a big tech guy, and this bar yeah. has one of the coolest things you'll ever find because we've all been that guy or seen that guy that tells the bartender, hey, can you charge this, you yeah. got an outlet? You've got that figured out. We do, so we went in, down the whole stretch of the bar, we have these, they're wireless chargers, and of course, like with me, if I'm watching sports or something, I usually have a laptop with me because you know how that goes. Right. But uh, yeah, they pop up. You have USB plugs, HDMI, you have outlets, wireless charger on top. But we love them. And that eliminates that, that bar problem that almost every bar seems to have. We've right? come a long way with peanuts <laughs> at the bar, my friend. We've come yeah. a long way. Well, listen, I could sit here all day, but we've got to check out this magnificent place. Let's take a tour, right? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Moving on up here at yeah. Wellington's. What a great spot here. This is the second floor of the loft area. Tell me about this space. My awesome. favorite spot in the entire restaurant. You get a little bit of both worlds. We have lounge, we have dining. It's great, you can close the curtains off for private parties. But it's also one of my favorite spots only for those intimate moments with like a date or like your wife. Mm. You know, you get separation from everybody, but you also get the overlook from the chaos of the restaurant. So it's a fun area and it's my favorite spot in the house. Yeah, I love it. First of all, I love the colors. You've got the orange chairs. And again, th this is just the lounge area. And then over here, you've got the tabletops. There's more of a bigger couch there for a bigger group. So yeah, you're, to your point exactly, you can almost delve into a couple of worlds now. The one thing that did get my attention more than anything else, being a man who enjoys games of chance and skill, <laughs> there's a poker table. Yeah, yep. Let's go, boss. Let's go. All right. Whoa. I know. Now right? We're talking now. All right. Look at We're in the this. poker room. This is, this is where business is conducted. A lot of business. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's, it's a fabulous poker table. Yeah. And it's a great environment for that, but you, it's also a conference room, right? It is a conference room. It acts as both. So it's our, it's our Wednesday night poker tournaments, which are free because we don't want to get into the gambling part. Right, right. Um, but for yes, a cover. purposes only. Yes. And then we do have a conference table that goes up over this, and it just becomes a conference room. So board meetings, it. business stuff, obviously TVs. We have some tech for doing presentations and such like that. So another mixed use room. Yeah. But uh, definitely poker is a lot more fun than business meetings. So right. Well, you, you can do both. You know, we are in a multitasking society. And you know what? Also, it strikes me you could also do maybe like a, like a. a fantasy football draft or something yeah. like that. You can come over here, set it up, everything like that. It's, we actually had this past deal on the Super Bowl. 
we had some guys actually book the room and actually play poker as they watch the Super Bowl. See, that's, so, that's, yeah, that's, entertainment. That's perfect. <laughs> well, ready for the cheesiness? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm all in. <laughs> So much to take in. Eye candy, if you will, when you walk into Wellington. First of all, that W up there. It's one of the first things you notice. And also, these pictures, these murals you got here up against the wall. Where did you get all the stock footage? <laughs> stock, right. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> no, not stock. So actually, when we were building this, um, all the owners, we all went down to Nicaragua. And down there, we did all the tobacco fields. We got to tour Perdomo's facility. Oh, which our buddy Nick Perdomo, yeah. Absolutely amazing. And if you haven't done it, it's a bucket list that you didn't know was on your bucket list kind of trips, right? So you got to go do it. But uh, we know we were down there. We're enjoying our time in Nicaragua. We took all these pictures. And then when we got back, looking at the scar lines, we were like, how do we make this, you know, a private thing? What are we going to do here? And so we came up with the idea of putting the pictures that we took down there in the field and just putting them on the cigar lounge. So. I love that it's in black and white because I think color would have been magnificent, but the black and white really gives it that sort of retro, old school kind of feel, right? We actually tried color yeah. in the render and it was like, ooh, too much. <laughs> so then we went black and white. No, but, I love it. I love but it. I love the way it came out. I think it's gorgeous. Um, and it does kind of tell the story if you start from this side, from the field, all the way to fermentation, to the barrel, to the finished product. So it kind of tells the story of the cigar, you know, seed to mouth, right? Yeah. So. Well, you've got the lounge, you've got the upstairs, you've got the great restaurant, and now comes, and this is an amazing segue, when you see these pictures, on the other side of that wall is heaven, the cigar, the reserve. Let's check that out. Come on. Let's do it. Lead the way, boss. All right, we are now inside the reserve at Wellington's, an absolutely magnificent cigar lounge. And the first thing that strikes me about it is it's, it's intimate. Okay, so it's, yeah. not, it's, not, it's not a massive space, so you can actually have conversations yeah. and hear people. I see the lockers, and we're going to get into that. But what strikes me about it, and, and this is not in any way a knock, it, it feels like, like you're in your buddy's basement, in your basement at home. It's yeah. so welcoming and homey, and this is what I love about this. Well, that was one of the key like factors when we designed it, right? We didn't want to be massive because we're not actually a cigar shop, right? We are a lounge, and it's a convenient thing for our guests as they come in. So we wanted to make it more quaint and intimate. And where you actually kind of feel like you said, like kind of in your living room and just hanging out. That way you can just enjoy a cigar, enjoy great conversation and just have a good evening. And in addition, enjoy some cocktails. We're going to get into these bad boys in a little bit. Now, one of the things, obviously, since we're in a restaurant and cigars and restaurants equals what? Cigar dinners. And you guys right. have those here as well. We do. So we do a monthly cigar dinner. Um, typically, it's like a three or four course dinner. Mm -hmm. um, and we work with our chef and work with our partners and we come up with a cigar pairing with that food, and typically we bring in the bartenders and our mixologists to do a, a paired cocktail with it as well. And it's a it's a set price. We do we only do eight people at these dinners. So again, wow. so again, quaint, uh, but it's a great way to come in and enjoy cigars with a dinner, but meet new people, right. engage with other cigar lovers, and that's one of the things that obviously. We all, all love about cigars. Sure. It's the community aspect, and right. that's what our dinners are really for. Right. So you've got you don't have to be a member, although you can be a member here in the lounge and get your own locker sure. as well, right? Yep. Yep. So we have three different tiers of our locker memberships. Obviously, they all come with different perks and some discounts on the you know on the reserve and on the restaurant side. Uh, and then we also obviously have our humidors, and we have about forty five facings. Um, everything from you know your mild, your medium, to your full body cigars, and a range of brands that we enjoy right um yeah we we love it smoky treats all around so we're going to get into uh our, our cigar dinners uh with with chef jean but first before we see chef jean we got to take care of these old fashions Absolutely right Speaking we do of smoky treats right oh take a take a whiff yeah. of that oh, oh man. Yeah. My man that's a signature drink right there for us the wellington old-fashioned cheers cheers It's heaven. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, gosh. Now we're getting into the high country, my friend. I'm with my friend here, Chef Jean. Thanks Hi. for hanging out with oh, us no, today. Thanks for coming over. Listen, the cigars were amazing. The, the drinks, spectacular. The lounge, amazing. But now we get into the mind of Chef Jean here. First of all, these dishes look amazing. Thank you for blessing us with, the, with, with these here. Tell us about yourself. Where do you come from? What's your background? How'd you all get into this whole culinary uh, experience? Okie dokie. Long story short, actually, I was born in Africa, in Congo. Uh, I was brought to France when I was about three years old. Gotcha. Um, 
So my aspect, uh, uh, my culinary aspect and background is very much based on my culture. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom has a strive to always make a meal every night gotcha. at home. Um, obviously, I started being sushi chef very much early, right? But happening in the kitchen, so you get the you get a, a more uh, love of, of what's about vegetable and how to respect the um, respect product uh, just in, in general. Um, when I first uh, moved to the USA, uh, I was in Cornwall in Boston, Massachusetts. Gotcha. for a couple semester and I um, got my first job at uh, Pauline's Cafe uh, for Chef David Annie as a sous chef there. I totally dropped school from there. It was, uh, <laughs> it was I just wanted to create place. I just wanted to create dish. The concept of, um, of farm to table is very attractive to me. Gotcha. Uh, it's a reason why everything has to look fresh, have to look as if it just came out of, uh, of um, from, the, from the farmer grounds um, uh, or directly from a, from a farmer car. Uh, the farmer cart. Um, so yeah, um, from uh, Vermont, I went down to North Carolina. I wanted to try a little bit of what was the Southern food sure, and sure. the Southern culture. Gotcha. Uh, because it, it doesn't matter where you are in the USA, you always have the fried chicken. So you want to know what the good fried chicken you got, is. You go, you so go you to the to source. Go straight up yeah. to the south, right? So uh, coming down here, I, and I realized um, 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 in Arkansas actually um, that the markets of the, the, the culinary, um, um, his, his not quite has evolved as up north. Mm -hmm. You guys still have very much fresh products, but the concept of farm to table is not here. So what I have done with Wellington, I have uh, um, had contact with the farm like Ozark Farm where we get our fresh micros, um, have people we're working off like uh, Campbell and Thomas for fresh produce. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of like bring a little bit of, of that aspect here um, anything that's fresh, uh, that's very filling, but at the same time, um, very uh, um, pleasant to look at. Um, so that's a little bit of my... Um, well, I love it. And, and you're I like absolutely right. I mean, I mean, it's amazing. The colors, the vibrant, how, how, how just it, everything pops off the plate that, that you look at it. And at the end of the day, I don't care where you're from or who you are. It's always mom's cooking that always inspires that's, all this. That's a fact. That's it. Yeah. So shout course, out to the yeah. moms because they're the ones <laughs> that are the boss in the of kitchen. Course, all right. right. So let's start with these plates. And again, I, I can't tell you how much these colors pop. So let's start with the Benedict there. Tell me what this is and tell me what this is all about. Okay. Um, I'm very much a, a, a chef twister, if I may say that. <laughs> I like to take a classic and turn into something that's different. That's what we love. That's what we love. something that yeah. has more, more of, obviously more of color and more more life to it so my seafood benedict is literally uh, our homemade seafood cake that we do in the house we really try to uh, to do everything from scratch um very proud of my culinary team as well we all strive to have very great knife skill here um so mine comes with an english muffin i have fresh spinach on the bottom of it uh with an, a sap on hollandaise yes. um obviously um well um well made uh emulsify pretty much in the uh, beginning of every shift uh, and that comes with a little uh, roasted prosciutto bite. Um, prosciutto here, bite? I thought it was bacon. It's prosciutto. No, nah, it's definitely prosciutto. Yeah, oh, it's prosciutto bite. So that's now we're talking. Little, uh, mixed herbs, fresh herbs. Um, in here, I have my uh, signature, one of my signature dishes, the black fettuccine of the sea. Now, you don't understand. Black yeah. fettuccine and me have a love affair. <laughs> I love me. As soon as I saw that black fettuccine and then the shrimp. Oh, my God. This is the dish. Yeah, I really couldn't I really could resist the, the fact that, you, that I had to have a black fettuccine and a chopino broth, which is literally the yellow, the saffron brings the brings the black fettuccine, the black fettuccine complement the uh, right. the chopino broth itself, and that comes with um, um, the seafood, uh, the chef selection, seafood market. In our case, we have uh, some fresh scallop. Um, it comes with uh, shrimp. And also have some uh, Scottish salmon that comes with it. And you know, it's 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 comfort food because that's all this stuff here is comfort food, Very much but so, on yeah. a high end level. And that's to the, your point, that's the whole point, yeah. With a twist, big time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all big right. time. Yeah. Now we've got we've got we've got a meat plate here, a steak plate. Yeah, uh, this is our Polanta Prime. It's become very much a, um, a very much big signature dish in the house. Um, it that comes with a cheesy, creamy Polanta cheese, um, roasted broccolini. Uh, and the mushroom dummy uh, that was with that. I also have uh, my seafood cakes there. Uh, our seafood cakes comes with a house remoulade, um, a black caviar sturgeon. The, the caviar. When I saw that caviar, I was like, now yeah. I'm in love. Of course, yeah. I'm the, in caviar, love. the caviar had the, the little few saltiness that you need to it, mm -hmm. and the little pop texture to the, to the softness, creaminess of the seafood cake itself. It's a very good mixture if you get to, uh, to get a bite of it um, in here a little bit. 
And this chicken looks amazing, but tell me what's underneath the chicken here. Okay, my airline chicken, uh, it comes with uh, my version of a uh, sacotash. Um, mine have a uh, hot fish to bone and lima beans, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. which is really great in the herb to do me as well, uh, which is, it's, it's very delightful. It's really good and fresh and, and crunch at the same time. Um, I strive to give people like the, the feeling of free texture, which is softness, crunchiness, uh, yes. a little bit of, uh, um, of, uh, of semi crunch as well, which comes with the vegetable, which is, is perfectly cooked. And my, my, like I said, my culinary team strive to, um, to bring us to, um, to the level of pleasure. Of the what, and made. what gets me about this is like every one of these dishes, how individual they are, they all have that same kind of what you were saying. They have that sort of that chef jam trademark in the sense that it's a twist on something that's classic, and every bite just feels like there's so much flavor bursting in there. How do you, how do you keep to make sure that all that flavor is in there, and how do you translate that to that stuff? Because you're, you, we saw your space in there. You have a small little space, and you're putting out amazing, amazing dishes. Well, I'm very happy, and I'm very proud to have a, a great culinary team that understands what what it takes to work with with so much that makes me create so big is almost the effect of uh of the magician hat right, right. where you see the rabbits coming up <laughs> and you may see a lady coming up out there with right. a little front front it's a little bit of that it's like how do you make so 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 much out of of so little that just that just come from from the heart right and a lot from the brand and, and my team and i'm very proud of them they all <laughs> They all understand that when and, uh, you when you serve one of these amazing dishes, like and, and this is this is just the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh yeah, big time. Yeah. This, 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 do you do you sit back and just kind of do, are you listening out in the, from the kitchen? Are you listening to see the people uh, what they're saying and the reaction and the oh and yeah, the um, and the, oh and the, oh oh yeah. That's 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 uh, that's one thing that um, I, I like to have my team to understand is it's the I call it the picture effect. It's the idea of for yes. every time for every time a plate comes down. Everyone want to take a picture. Take a picture. I think yeah, that's that's picture. really much what's what's very important is eating with your eyes first. Be able to brag about it to your friends and be like, "Hey, I'm in this very cool place. Check the food out." It's it's what you want to have versus being ashamed of what you've been eating. Like I can't even take the picture because it's way <laughs> too slappy right now. Right? You, you understand? Well, the hardest part would be first. having enough time to not just devour the plate and Absolutely. actually take the picture first. Absolutely, Before yeah. I let you go, one of the signature places of this are your cigar dinners. Yeah. Tell me about what that what goes into that and, and, and what, what do you get there? Because th this is not necessarily the cigar dinner. This, this is a regular menu. This is the everyday stuff. Menu, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the cigar dinner, my team and I, we, uh, we, we are really working on the on the fact I'm staying right there on the theme of of smoking. Mm -hmm. So uh, some of our courses, that could be the dessert, that could be the first course, each of them, at least somewhere, there's an element of smoke somewhere gotcha. that will bring back the the aroma of, of what you're really into since you've, you've been smoking the whole time. So you want to have a little bite of, uh, the, um, for example, the one that's coming up next time, I have a, a bone marrow, and that comes with the smoked uh, sweet uh, sh crispy shallots. I mean, so, uh, sh smoke uh, um, shallot coffees uh -huh. that will come on top of the of the boat marrow, oh, and also finish with a, a, a smoke martini dessert. So it's 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 the idea of that creating creating a menu that's that's pleasing to to watch mm -hmm. into at the moment. It's like I say, if you're smoking a cigar, I would definitely have you something smoky somewhere there that that reminds you of. Yeah, Amazing. Listen, already. you have absolutely dominated the whole farm to table concept. You are just killing it every day, my friend. I wish and I really you nothing but that. success. Oh, no, thanks success. so much. And again, uh, and, it, and it's all the senses, both visually, you know, smell, and then, of course, you finish it off with the taste. And even in your fingers. So take those pictures quick because this is not going to last in your like plate that. very long. <laughs> thanks it's so much. Chef Jean. Thanks so much, Gina. Thanks again for stopping by. He's the best. Uh, thanks, guys. Wow, talking about a perfect way to end a meal. In the reserve, having a nice cigar, some coffee. Coffee, yeah. Those shoes, yeah. by the way. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I mean, when, when, when you're the boss, you gotta yeah. look like the Shout boss. Shout out to Donnie, he's a good friend of ours <laughs> that got him done for me. So listen, amazing time here at the Wellington, top to bottom, both floors, you know, and also, what Chef Jean does in that kitchen space is, is, is a miracle. They, they, they kind of put, put 140 people you can get in here, 140 yeah. plates that to put out every night. Amazing stuff. They're, they're like magic men back there. I mean, they, <laughs> what they do back there is, is astonishing. It shocks us what they can come out of that kitchen with. It blows our mind. So 
Yeah, it's always good. Yeah. Well, listen, no, no better way to end it with a smoke, some coffee here in the reserve. And listen, where can we find Wellington? Where can we find the reserve on social media and online? Yeah, so if you're on social, it's at Wellington NWA. And the website is wellingtonnwa.com. By the way, when you say NWA, I think straight out of Arkansas. Oh, yeah, raise the backs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, pig suey. There right? you go. You're, getting, you're already conditioning right now. You'll be trying to move down here before long. Listen. This is Dylan King, man. Thanks hey, man. for hanging out with us. Right? Thank you. You guys All are right. always welcome. Awesome. Great times, great smokes. Enjoy it.